I got a meal plan from Chef Peter, pork cutlet, potato puree, and Sukuma Wiki? I'm not sure how you actually are supposed to say that, but we're gonna cook it, or at least try to. We're not, we're not really sure if we're gonna be able to do it, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, so here is our meal kit from Chef Peter. We got potatoes, heavy cream, spices up, drop the spices, that's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the potato puree first, and then I can have that sort of like on a water bath because I'll put it on a double boiler. That's exactly what I'll do, just keep hitting myself in the face with this menu. It says to peel the potatoes, but I had an issue with my peeler recently, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna quarter these potatoes, place that in a pot and cover that with water, and that's gonna simmer over medium so we're gonna mince five cloves of garlic and we're gonna saute that in oil until it's cooked through, but not, oh, that's too hot. Then we're gonna add the cup of cream and bring that to a boil. We have a half a pound of butter here. Add that in slowly until it's almost melted. I'm gonna offload this into a separate container, fill that saucepan with water and put a bowl on top of it. And this is gonna be our double boiler. Okay, so the potatoes are done and put a sieve fine mesh strainer, one of the other, just look on Amazon. And then a little bit at a time, I'm gonna scrape this through the strainer. And look, no peels. And now that's gonna go into the double boiler. I don't know why I'm using a spoon. I need to be using, it. okay, here's a spatula. And I'm just gonna fold and stir, fold and stir until it's all incorporated. Salt, pepper, out the door, they're done. They're perfect. I have a pound of collard greens I'm just gonna fold those in half and remove this stock. And now slice those greens into very thin strips and set those aside. We're gonna get three cloves of garlic, a half a piece of fresh ginger, and throw it in a mortar and pestle. Salt, pepper, fennel, turmeric, cardamom, and cinnamon. I guess that goes, I, I guess that goes in there. Uh, yeah, surely. Pound that up until it's a paste and set aside. So for the rest of our ingredients, we're gonna dice a yellow onion and mince a jalapeno, de-seeded. And we're gonna throw our flavor paste into a pan with some oil, but don't let it burn. This isn't an Usher song. Oh look, we have ground pork. You have like a, a flavor paste meat mixture. That sounds terrible actually, it's really good. Add the onion and jalapeno and stir frequently, scraping the bottom of the pan to release all the brown bits, but there shouldn't be many. And once the onions are soft and translucent, you can add the greens to the pan. We're just gonna stir that around to mix well with the other ingredients. It's gonna be a whole thing. Add one cup of water or chicken stock, I add water, and reduce heat to medium low. And that's gonna cook for about 10 minutes until most of it has evaporated. Squeeze half a lemon into the greens. Don't let any seeds get in there. And you know, adjust it to your liking. Taste it, adjust it, and get it just right. Get out three large bowls. I just, I, I don't, I don't have a lot of bowls. Now onto the pork cutlet. In the first bowl, we're gonna add flour and half the seasoning mix. In the second bowl, crack the eggs. And we're gonna add a half a cup of water and whisk that together. And then the third bowl, just the panko breadcrumbs, nothing else. And this is gonna be simple. Flour, wash, panko breadcrumbs. Make sure you really press the panko into that pork. You'll see here we have the fry station leading to the drip station, which is a napkin. Wow, that's not a napkin. It's a paper towel. So in 350 degree oil, we're just gonna cook these bad boys. We're gonna cook these babies, cook these little piggies. So we're gonna cook the pork. You fry it on each side for about one to two minutes. You look for the color, flip them, send them on their way. Gosh, what a beautiful fry. I liberally season the cutlets with seasoning mix. I'm not sure what's in the seasoning mix. Don't ask me, ask Chef Peter. Not, it's not my seasoning mix. Now let's plate this. We want this to look fancy. One spoon of mashed potatoes, maybe more, just a little bit more, and as delicately as you can, smooth it out. Beautiful, look at us. Now with your spiced greens, just put that right there in the end right there. I slice the cutlet into nice little strips, and now I'm gonna fan it out here, make it look fancy. Look at what I'm looking at here. Did it, did it record, did it get the crunch? That panko breading is like, look at this. Can you see this? It's like a Chick-fil-A nugget. Why haven't I been eating pork? I like holding, holding it up here. Oh, oh, heat. 
and this porky, salty, gingery, turmericy. I can't handle what just happened. If you're in San Antonio, you don't know what to cook, you buy the same thing, you're going to the grocery store, you're stressed out, you don't want to get people coughing COVID on you in the first place, this is it. I want to eat all of this. There's a four person meal for one, so y'all, you know, y'all figure out how to do that. I'll figure out how to do that at the end of the day. Okay, bye.